Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the property page layouts. The VP Residence team includes seven property page layouts and in this video I will explain how to manage the options for the fourth property layout template. Using this property, I will show the options available for the property page layout. First, I will show where you can manage the options. You will need to go to VP Residence Options and in Property Page section, under Property Page Design, you will find the property page layout options. You can see that the fourth property page layout is already selected and next I will show the options available. After the property page layout selection, you will have the media header option. With this option, you can change the property page header, you can choose to not display a header or you can select image, team slider, revolution slider or Google Maps header. To show an example, I will select the team slider, I will save changes and on the property page after refresh, in the header you will have a team slider. Going back to team options, I will switch the media header back to none. Next you will have the image slider for the properties. You can select any of these types. This property page layout will display a small image slider. I will change the slider type as well on front end on refresh. The media header will not show anymore and you will have the image slider that I just selected. Going back to team options. Next you will have this option that refers to the buttons on the image slider. These are the buttons. With drag and drop you can set the buttons that you want to be visible in the property page. I will leave only image gallery and map view. I will save the changes. On refresh I will have only the two buttons that I just selected. Also you need to be aware that if in your property you will not have a virtual tour or a video, the buttons will not show by default. Next in the property page you will have the overview section. The elements in this section can be managed from team options as well. You will need to go to overview section. Here with drag and drop you can set the fields that will be visible in the overview section. I will move one field from the disabled box into the visible one to show how this works but you can set them all to be visible or move the ones that you do not want to show in your property page in the disabled box. I will save the changes and on property page on refresh the category element that I just selected will show as well. The fourth property page layout will display first the image slider, next the overview section and next you will have the property page sections and the sidebar. The property page sections can be managed from team options as well depending on the layout that you have. I will go back to team options and back to property page design. Here you have the option to show content as if accordion will be selected then you need to manage the property page sections from the selection for accordion layout. Here you can set with drag and drop the elements that will be visible. I will show an example. I will move some of the property page elements in the disabled section. I will save the changes I made. And on property page on refresh you will see only the elements from the visible column. Going back to team options and back to property page design you also have the option to set the property page content as tabs and in this case the property page sections need to be managed from the selection for tab layout. Here you will have three sections in tab, after tab and not visible. I will show an example. I will move floor plans to not be visible for the after tab. I will leave only the map and the agent and I will save changes. Now in the property page after refresh you will see the tabs and next you will see the elements that I set to show in the after tab section, map and the agent. Currently in this property you have the agent added twice, once in sidebar and once here. The agent section from the property page content can be removed if you move the agent element in the not visible column. The same will apply for a cardian layout. But if you want to disable the agent on sidebar, you will need to go to contact and schedule tour and here you will have show agent contact form on sidebar and you will need to set it to no. I will save changes and now on refresh the agent that was shown in sidebar now is not displayed anymore. Also if you want to set 
the layout to not include this sidebar you can manage this from team options from property page design below you will have this option property select sidebar position if no sidebar will be selected then the sidebar will not show in the property page and you also have the option to change the sidebar position i will save the change with no sidebar and on property page on refresh you will not have the sidebar anymore. Going back to team options, you will also have other options available like show the property details in one, two or three columns. The same will be available for property address and property features and amenities. And also under property page section, you will have many other options to customize your property page. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.